the makeup of uh, Bailey's is much like the makeup of the world. It is, it is literally a small world within, within our county. And it's enriched by the quality of the teachers, the training that's provided the teachers. And we believe that this is a model for the entire country. Woke up this morning, smiled at the rising sun. Three little birds that by my doorstep, singing a sweet song, a melody pure and true. Sing it, this is my message to you. I was transferred here uh, unexpectedly, and when I was told that I had to move here, I spent an inordinate amount of time looking for a school. The reason I moved into the house that I'm in right now is specifically because of Bailey's Elementary. Bailey's has been close to my heart for years um, because of the diversity that we find at Bailey's, both economically and ethnically, um, and also the arts integration program that we have here. We are magnet, we're out of boundary. The reason we came to Bailey's is for all of the additional programs that Bailey's offers. As an American, I feel very strongly. Here we are on the eve of an inauguration where people feel there's a fresh start, where people feel our president, new president, represents equality and the American dream. I see in Bailey's people every day who are trying to make it in this society. And Bailey's has been able to give not only the students that opportunity, but their families as well. And I have not ever seen that in any other school before. Hi, I'm Richard Curran. Uh, I live in the Bailey's community. I was the PTA president uh, back in the early 90s when Bailey's got the magnet. Uh, the magnet came as a result of a lot of strife in the county. It had to do with issues of uh, segregation. Uh, it had to do with lawsuits. It had to do with boundary changes. And in the end, Fairfax County, after several votes, and even in a recession, voted to make Bailey's a magnet because that was a vote on the side of equity in education, and putting an equality program in this school. And it helped not only provide great opportunities for children, but it really preserved a community. Now, with these budget cuts, and for a very small amount of budget cuts coming to Bailey's, probably about $200,000, the school board would go back on that historic promise. It would destroy the school. It would destroy the community. But if the busing is taken away, it'll be devastating to this community. If the busing is taken away, that means a lot of the magnet uh, population um, will go away. The magnet students really enrich our community of learners. As I mentioned before, before the magnet program, this school was basically a school of all ESL students, second language learners with the only language model being the teacher in the classroom. Uh, we know that the interaction, the peer-to-peer -peer interaction is so important in language learning. Yo vivo aquí en la comunidad de Culmore desde 1995. Me, me encanta escuchar un niño de acá de Bailey que sea americano y habla español. Es porque habla con un hispano. Y si no hubiera eso, si solamente hubieran hispanos, nuestros hijos a lo mejor no hablaran muy bien el inglés. Solo hablaran español porque en casa solo se habla español. So, por eso para mí es muy importante que vengan otros niños de otros y que no haya discriminación. The, the children of the magnet program here are enriched in ways that are sometimes difficult to put your finger on. But in my years of observing the behaviors of the children, I can tell you that the magnet students develop a different lens with which to look at the entire world. Because they see that other people think in different ways. They become flexible thinkers, understanding other perspectives. Also, understanding the challenges of this world, and the importance of, of justice, fairness, and working towards that end. If you lose the transportation, then you're going to start losing families because they won't be able to get their kids here. Um, and again, there's, um, you know, first of all, that's just sort of a hole in the school, in the classroom, where that student should be, that um, 
they aren't there anymore. And, but then you also, you don't just lose the student, you lose that whole family. In the after school program, we need volunteer parents every single day to make sure the children get to the places they need to be, to keep them safe, to give them a snack. And those parents generally tend to be the magnet student parents. Um, in addition, children who can pay for our after school classes pay for them. That gives us a base of funding, sometimes thirty to forty thousand dollars a year where then we can offer, use that money to offer classes to more than just that core of people. And so we are taking that Bailey's model of mixing this diverse group of children during the day, and it's an equal playing field. It's not a rich kids program. It's not a poor kids program. It's a Bailey's program. The training that the teachers received, uh, the art education training where they incorporate uh, the arts into learning and make it a holistic way, kind of the way we learn as human beings. Um, and this has just been invaluable to the way that our children have learned to think. CEDAM is a Kennedy Center pa Partnership. It stands for Changing Education Through the Arts. It's incredibly creative. It's on the cutting edge of education. I don't create actors, I, I create better learners. Um, through the arts, the children get to experience um, learning in a totally different way. It, it's active, it's, it's meaningful. Um, they have a chance to process why they need to know this stuff, um, why it's important to them. Um, they learn skills like cooperation and concentration um, and um, really learn to become not, a, not only um, better learners, but better members of a community. In the after school context, I have seen children who are otherwise in special programs because of emotional handicaps or other types of disabilities open up through arts enrichment. If CETA stays intact, you know, you're, you're able to um, help students who, do, who aren't able to learn in uh, a cookie cutter way. The county has spent thousands, hundreds and thousands of dollars over the past decade to build the school. And it is shocking to me that they would even consider taking away $350,000, which is so little, but does so much here at Bailey's and is used so effectively. It would destroy the school. It would destroy the community. It will leave a community with a huge percentage of people on free and reduced lunch. Many, most of the school, the great majority of the school will not speak English. And those kids will not have the opportunity to do as well as school children in this county can do. So we expect the school board to follow through on a historic promise made 15 years ago. We're not saying Bailey's will avoid all cuts, but certainly do not change the character of this school.